Hello and welcome to First Look. I'm Young John and what we have for you today is the humble SD card. I mean, it's used in almost everything like DSLRs and video cameras, uh, but they're hardly ever talked about. It's like the unsung hero that records all of your pictures and all of your video and saves them uh, for you to enjoy later on. Now this one here is by Kingston. It's called the Canvas Select and Kingston has a whole line and that includes the Canvas Select, the Canvas Go, and the Canvas React. Different speeds for different uses. But why am I telling you all this? Because you're not gonna remember. When I look at this, I hardly remember too. I mean, if you ever need to go and buy a card and wonder which one should I get, this is how you remember. Everyone knows what stoplights are, yes? Uh, red light on the top, yellow light in the middle, and green light on the bottom. Now, if you can liken that to these memory cards, the Canvas Select, which is in green, it goes on the bottom. We have the Canvas React, which is in red. It goes right on the top, and in the middle, you would think you have a yellow, but no, we have a blue. So just remember the top and the bottom, and uh, whatever's left goes right in the middle. There's two important things to remember, not just of Kingston's cards, but of every SD card, and that's the read speed and the write speed. The higher the number, the faster it works. So, this card is the Canvas Select, it's in green, and Kingston uses good, better, and best. This falls under the good, and it reads at 80 megabytes per second, and you write at 10 megabytes per second. Great for point-and-shoot cameras and high-definition video in 1080p. Next comes the Canvas Go. This is the proverbial yellow light, except it's in blue, and this one has a 90 megabyte read, and has a 45 megabyte write per second. That's four and a half times faster than this guy here. This is great for shooting DSLRs, shooting raw pictures, and also shooting uh, Lightstream 4K. Finally, we have the Canvas React, which is red color and sits on top of the totem pole. It reads 100 megabytes per second, and it writes 80 megabytes per second. The fastest of the bunch, this is great for 4K video, raw DSLRs, and everything else you can possibly throw at it. This is good, better, and best. Just imagine this blue card is in yellow. <laughs> I'm gonna do something I'm not supposed to do, but I'm gonna do an ad hoc test transferring files from here to here and back again to see just how quickly it can read and write. This is just just and giggles, you know, it's not a real test because, you know, it's not benchmarking or anything, but, you know, real life stuff. There's a whole bunch of writing inside this paper here. Uh, saw me, it's in Finnish. <laughs> there we go. When you buy an SD card online, you gotta make sure that it's a genuine one and not a fake because there's a lot of fakes roaming around. Uh, you'll lose your data, by the way, if you buy one of those. But uh, to look out for the customers, Kingston has put their little watermark there. So it's like a dollar bill. If you look at it sideways, it shimmers and you can't see the logo. And if you put it another way, you can see their logo. So what I'll do now is take Kingston's own Mobileye G4 SD card reader, it's USB 3, and copy a couple of files to this memory card. I'll stick this in and put it into the computer. Righto, here we go. Here is the SD card and it's empty. So, this is my computer with some files. This is 6.45 gigabytes. I'm going to copy it right over into the SD card. Here we go and boom. Oh wow. It is consistently writing at 67, almost 68 megabytes per second. If you take into consideration like the file handling and the overhead, then this is a great speed. Pretty quick, I like it. Okay, let's fast forward. We're almost near the end, and what you see in this graph is that it's writing at almost 70 megabytes per second. Consistent all the way through from beginning to end, and it's copied almost about six gigabytes, six and a half gigabytes of data. We're gonna copy it back into the computer and read what the read speed is. Before it was the write speed to the card. Now we're gonna do the read speed from the card and copy it back into the computer. And boom. Write speed has been as high as one and a half gigabytes, I think. 
but it's dropped down to 85 megabytes. Oh, we're going back. 550 megabytes. Wow. This is a crazy number. I understand writing at 85 megabytes, but it's gone as high as like a gig, I think. I don't understand that, but it's very, very fast. Okay, we gotta try this again because that, I just don't, I don't understand that. I don't know how that happened. So what we're gonna do is make a new folder over here. Mm, and we'll call it, what was that? Okay. So this folder here is the computer hard drive. Uh, it's like an SSD drive. And this folder here is the SD card. So we're gonna copy it again from here to the hard drive and three, two, one, boom. 1.2 gigabytes, what? 418 megabytes, what? That's just crazy. Okay, now it's down to what we're expecting, like 87, 90 megabytes read speed. But the fact that it was writing at a gigabyte, that's just crazy. I don't, hmm. Okay, I'll take that. Now, I don't know what just happened there, but I could have sworn I saw reading at one gigabyte per second. Now this card is rated for 100 megabytes per second, but a gigabyte is 10 times quicker than that. So if there are any technologists out there who have any explanation for this, please let me know in the notes below because I have no explanation unless it's been saved in cache or something because of the initial write from the computer to the... I'm just bedazzled. I have no idea what happened, but I'm not complaining. The faster the better. Uh, and as you've seen, one gigabyte along with me, I don't, I can't explain it, but I'm quite happy with that. Now, to be honest, there's a lot of SD cards being sold on the market today. A lot of companies trying to sell them. Uh, but let me just say that Kingston has been around for a very, very long time. They are a reliable company. And uh, now that I'm looking around, I do see that they offer a lifetime warranty for their Canvas Select cards. Uh, and uh, for their Canvas Go cards, and I would reckon also a lifetime warranty, yes, for their Canvas React cards too. So what more can I say except Kingston is a company that does stand behind their products. Thank you very much for joining us in our look with Kingston's line of SD cards. And if you ever forget what the colors stand for, what the words stand for, just remember the traffic light moniker, red on top, green on the bottom, red being the best and fastest. Uh, we'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to check out prices. And um, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I guess that's it. We shall see you all again next time. No, that's wrong. Okay, I was wrong. Sorry. Uh, the fire signal. It's not a fire signal. Uh -huh. Losing my words. What is that? Traffic stop. Traffic stop. Traffic stop. Traffic stop. Traffic stop. They look down on everyone. And, oops.